TV presents A Stitch in Time, and here with your week's project is your host, Carol Scott. Welcome to A Stitch in Time. Today we are making a child's purse or tote bag. The first thing you'll need is three quarters of a yard of two different color fabrics, if you, if you like. I chose two that were the same weight. One is for the lining and one is for the top part. <clears throat> the pattern is on www.astitchintime.com. You take the pattern and lay it out on the material using the salvage edge as your length for the purse. Make sure you measure so that it's not crooked. That'll help keep the purse strong as the child uses it. It won't get all cattywampus and so seven and three quarters. A little bit more. Okay. Then pin your pattern on the fold and pin it and cut it out. Okay. And you'll do that. You'll have two of these, two of each of these out of each color. So I have them already cut out here. Okay. And you're going to face take one of each and put them right sides together. You can't really tell on the solid color, but you know this is your right side for the top part. So you're going to put, let's see, right sides together. And you're going to stitch all the way around the outside on each of them. And then you put the lining together and you'll stitch it You'll pin it and stitch it all the way around on the outside. So I have some that are already stitched together here. You'll need to clip the curves for it to get some of the bulk out. Every curve needs to be clipped like this. And this will help it to lay flat. Then you're going to press the seams open, like this one is. Press it as far down as you can. If you don't have a sleeve board, a towel works very well. Just slip it in the towel. And then you can press it pretty far down. All right. And then you also need to clip the points of the seam here to take the bulk out. And so you can see where you need to stitch it like that. Okay. So now you have your two parts. You've clipped all your your cur your sewn curves on both of them to take the bulk out. And you're ready to put it together. So you're going to take your lining and turn it right side out. Now, it's important to have cut straight, but stitching can take care of some of that. It's important to stitch straight and pressing can take care of some of that if you don't get it as straight as you want. This is a good project to do with a child. So, um, I did it with my grandchild actually. She's eight. And she she made a very nice little purse. So, when you have them all pressed and ready, okay, we're going to break for a commercial right now. And when we come back, we'll finish up our tote bag. Thank you. A gift craft in Field of Flowers is like getting a bouquet. Most wrapping paper ends up lining a drawer or in the trash. Wait! Don't throw your Field of Flowers wrapping paper away. There are flower seeds in Field of Flowers wrapping paper. Plant your Field of Flowers and watch your bouquet grow. Welcome back to a Stitch in Time. We're 
making a tote bag for a little girl. Before the break, we cut it out and stitched our two parts together, right sides facing. And now we have turned our lining right side out and we're going to put it inside our main section of the purse. so that your right side is facing your right side. And you'll pin it all the way around. Pinning is like basting, which helps keep your fabric where it belongs. Do not sew over your pins, though. That is very dangerous. Okay, then when you have it completely pinned, you're going to sew all the way around the top edge now. But you're going to leave one section open. When you sew around, you'll leave about three inches open. I would not leave it open on the curve. I would leave it open here because remember you have to clip your curves to take the excess material out so that it'll lay flat. And I have one here that I've stitched all the way around and I've clipped these curves and I've also clipped the point off so that bulk of material doesn't get in the way when we turn the handle. And then I've clipped these curves as well. This one I actually I didn't clip this one side. Okay. Now you're ready to turn it. And you just kind of pull it all through. It's good to pull the handles through first. And get the points out as far as you can. Okay, there's one handle. And get the other one out. Can you find the handle? Kind of push the point out as sharply as you can get it to go out. Okay. Then finally you're going to press all the way around just kind of first press it with your fingers to get it laying right so you don't have a lot of material folded up into the seam. And then press it all the way around and press your opening down and then stitch around your opening so that's closed. Now what you can do is top stitch the whole thing because then it looks more has more continuity than just having a section st stitch. So I stitched, top stitched it all the way around. And then you tie the top. Oh, I got it tied upside down. Right. Tie it and then you have your your tote. Okay. Now what you can also do with this is have it be reversible. So check the pattern out at www.stitching.com. Thank you.
See you next week.